Daniel here with a quick tip on how to edit vertical video using the free OpenShot video editor. To start with, I have a blank project here and I've just drag and drop from my desktop a couple of example video clips that we can to show you how to deal with the different situations that you're likely to encounter. So I've got a vertical clip here it's directly from my cell phone and I've got a horizontal clip from a camera, uh, from a standard camera that I just have pulled to show you how to convert that type of video format. To get started with, let's take a look at the video preview and see that we have a wide uh, viewing area, which means that we're not outputting the correct format for a vertical video. To change the format, let's go up to orange uh, film strip looking icon and click on that. It says choose profile. Under profile, we're going to look for the HD vertical. So there's two built in vertical profiles uh, HD 1080p and the HD 720 in the vertical format. Which one do you want to choose? Well, if you're using mostly wide video, so video from a normal camera, you're probably going to want to choose 720 unless you have all 4K video. If you're using mostly stuff from a cell phone, which was filmed in the vertical profile, like my first example up there, then you're going to most likely want to choose 1080. There may be some circumstances where that doesn't work out quite right, and I'll show you how to deal with that in a moment. So to start with, I'm going to choose 1080p. That it close, and we can see the video preview has changed to the format, so we know we have the right output. Now from this point, you can follow the previous tutorial that I made and start editing uh, videos, cutting between different shots, adding sound, adding special effects and titles and text and all that stuff, the normal way. Um, but there may be some times when you pull in video and it doesn't fit quite right. So these examples are here to show you how to deal with that. But first I'm going to drag in uh, this vertical video that I took with my cell phone as an example. But as well, we can see that there's a black box around everything, um, and that's not what we want. So to fix that, most of the time, all you need to do is right click on the actual clip itself, choose properties, and then you'll get this very useful properties panel on the left. About two thirds of the way down, you'll see scale. And then next to that, best fit is the default. Best fit is not the, the uh, right choice to make this work. Usually what you want to do is right click on that and choose none. We can see the video has gotten bigger, but it still hasn't fixed the problem. And that's because my raw video file here is actually only 720, which some older cell phones still produce. If you get that issue, the easiest thing to do is go back up to the profile and instead of choosing 80, choose 720. There we go. Now there may be some cases where you do want to choose 1080, but you only but some of your videos are still 720, in which case you want to know how to scale it up. If that's the case for you, I'll show you what to do. So we're going to go back up to the profile and choose again. Go back to where we were. Now to zoom this in and uh, make it bigger than it originally was, we go back to scale and right click where it says none now, or where it might have said best fit, and choose crop. Now crop has zoomed it in way too much. So to zoom it back out again, we'll go find scale X, right click somewhere near the right of this bar, drag it to the left until as we see the video is squashing, it'll eventually show some black bars. There we go. So now still holding uh, the click button, the left click, Drag it slowly to the right until you get to where just black bars just go. Now the scale Y, in order to avoid weird stretching like this, we're going to need to make it the same. So you could just drag it to the same spot, or it's a bit faster for me to just click on the number and it highlights everything blue and then type 0.56 to match the preview. Now if you're going to use 720 video and scale up to 1080, it's always going to be 0.56. So you could just try typing that in if that works fine. If your original video is a little zoomed out and you want to zoom in, you can actually adjust it. So let's say we want to go to 0 0.6, 0 0.6. There we go. Now we're a little more zoomed in and maybe that's better. So you have some leeway there to choose exactly how zoomed in you want to make it. And that's all that you need to know for vertical videos. At this point, you can continue editing as normal. If you have horizontal videos, we'll go through that process again as well. So start with you, just drag and drop it in. And then we'll move the playhead to where it, uh, the beginning of this video. Now open shot, it's a little strange. Sometimes it actually will overlay the two for one frame. Once we zoom into this widescreen one, it will, uh, won't notice that it does that. But as an example, I'm just gonna drag this in a little bit so that we don't see me behind. And you can now see very clearly the black boxes that it has. So what I did is it actually zoomed in or like shrunk the widescreen video till it fits everything inside of all frame, which leaves huge black boxes on the top and bottom. Now there may be times when you want to do this, and if you refer to the previous tutorial, I, I show you how, ways that you can have like picture in picture, or you can have multiple frames on uh, video frames on the screen at one time. 
So maybe there's some cool effect you wanna do with this like that, but usually you're gonna to wanna to zoom in to where the top is as far up as it can go, the bottom is as far down as it can go, and then you'll end up cutting off the left and the right of the video screen. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to the beginning uh, by choosing uh, Command or Control and then left arrow so that the playhead is right where these two meet. And then I'm gonna choose Scale again and Best Fit, or right click on Best Fit and choose Crop. So there we go, now we've zoomed in as far as we can to fill up everything, cutting off the left and the right. Now in this particular video, the subject of the video is not dead center in the frame. And so we can fix that too. So making sure our playhead is on the left again, it being on the left ensures that the entire video clip uh, has that same transformation applied. I'll show you what happens when you don't put it in the far left in a moment here, when we do a little bit more advanced animation stuff. Uh, but to begin with, you always wanna make sure your plate is on the left side of a clip when you're making these adjustments. Otherwise you're gonna get weird effects. So then we go find uh, about four above the scale is location X. Dragging this around lets us move where the video is panned left or right. You can, excuse me, you can also move the location up and down using location Y. But because we've zoomed it in exactly to fit, uh, it, that would just produce black boxes. But if you zoomed it in a little more, you can actually uh, use that to adjust exactly what part of the picture. So now I've dragged the location X until the subject is about in the center where I want it to be. And if your subject doesn't move that much and your camera's fixed, like if you're taking a cell phone video, or you have a camera on a tripod, then this would apply the whole time and the person would just... Uh, so let's see if that is the case with our particular clip here. Space bar, hit space bar. We can see it did move the entire frame over, but the camera itself was moving uh, and the, the subject moving a little bit as well. Um, so it sh the, the subject didn't stay directly in dead center. Now we can fix that. And this was what happens when you actually move the playhead and make these adjustments. So first of all, let's drag the playhead until we find just as the subject goes as far off to the left as they're gonna go. Looks like about there. Now we can go choose and adjust the location again. Have them in the center. We can see it's add this little um, diagonal line. That indicates that it's now smoothly moving between those two spots. So if we go back to the start, the subject's still in the center, and as we play it, subject, well, a little fast, but if I drag it, as the subject moves back or the camera moves, we're also panning our position within the frame to match that. So essentially we can cancel out motion this way. And just to bring this to a close, I'll continue doing it for this clip. So there we go, the, the camera has moved the subject a bit too far out of frame, so now we can drag this back in, add a little more, see, so Again, uh, about there, I'll set one. Center and then go to the end. Again. There we go. So now let's see if I can play this through. Perfect. So now the subject is still in the center of the camera. No no matter that in the original video, the subject was moving back and forth relative to the frame. Now, one thing I like to do is if you find this uh, diagonal line here, if you right click on that, I find that choosing Bezier and then ease in and out uh, makes it a little more natural and a little smoother when these transitions happen. But other than that, uh, that's how you can handle any situation that you find yourself in when you're converting video to vertical. So now you can go back to the previous tutorial I made about how to edit just plain video, and you can do all those cuts. You can add video uh, on top and below. You can add music. You can do the text and anything that you want to do to make this the perfect short video uh, for your brand and help promote what you're doing. So this has been Daniel with St. Paul's University. Thanks for watching.